stand. We're going to start off with uh, John chapter 10. John chapter 10. Start with verse 1. Um, I understand what I'm going to read to you today. It's found in uh, a lot of times, you know, people like, I'm, I get to be in teens a lot. And I speak and I'm all over the place. <coughs> But well, understand this, it's all based on the word, amen? amen. amen. Uh, 1 Corinthians 14, 6, you don't have to read it, I'll read it to you. But we're going to start off with John 10. Uh, in his first year, 1 Corinthians 14, 6. Uh, Paul was talking to the church in Corinth. He said, now, brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit you? I'm here to profit you, Amen. Yeah, Timmy has it up there. Yeah. Except I shall speak to you either by one, revelation, two, knowledge, three, by pro prophesying, or by doctrine. This is how the word of God comes to the, a new born again believer, mm. to the child of God. Amen. Amen. This is the four ways. <laughs> this is the four ways that the, the word of God will come to you. No matter where you're at, what you're doing. Uh, if you tune into the spirit, you you should. You will hear. You will hear God speak. God is always pouring out His Spirit. God, God is always talking. It's just a question of, are you meditating on His Word? Amen. Are you meditating day and night mm -hmm. so you be a, a, like a tree planted by the rivers of water? Mm -hmm. Psalm 1. Amen? Amen? You want to be like that man. you got to stay out of the way of the scornful. you got to stay out of the way of sinners. You can't sit in the seat of the scornful. Amen? Mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't do that and expect. There's, there's a separation going on right now in the body of Christ. Bishop kind of hit on it, or oh, he did hit on it. I ain't gonna say God, he hit it. <laughs> uh, it's a spirit of carnality, man, that is in the church. It's a carnal mindset. This is the mindset that the Sadducees and the Pharisees had, and some of the the, uh, the uh, uh, folks that were walk, running around giving Jesus problems when he was walking the earth. Of course, there was no problem too big for him. He can knock it out, amen. But y'all can have your seats. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, jump in this. Um, Bishop, you know, the Lord is going to speak to us through Bishop, I'll put it that way, uh, about the strong man, right? Strong man in the house. But he said, when a strong man comes, and I'm paraphrasing, he'll throw who the strong man that was in your house out and everything with it, amen? Who, who's, the, and who's, who's the man or who's the house that he was speaking to, speaking about? Did y'all remember? Yes. Yeah. Who's the house? We're the house. We're the house. You, the man, right? Amen. You are the house. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. You are the house. And God has come here to help you. Oh, he wants you to be rich toward him. But the things that you are rich toward him are not tangible. They're not, they're not tangible. They're intangible. Matter of fact, the things that make you rich toward God is Christ and the word himself. Amen. Amen. Uh, the scriptures say uh, that the kingdom of God has not come in meat or drink, but by uh, righteousness, joy, and peace in the Holy Ghost. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Amen. So, uh, in the house, you, you have an entrance, though. You have a door, right? And the, the doorway to your spiritual house, right, is what? The mind, right? Yeah. Amen. So let's, let's go to uh, John chapter 10. You don't have Jesus to take no thought. You don't have to take any thought, every thought that, that comes to you. Uh, matter of fact, you have to. Matter of fact, you have to be equipped. The scripture says you have to. You have to arm your mind. Amen. Yes. Amen. Arm your mind. Mm -hmm. That means you have armor. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, devil, the strategies, the schemes. Amen. Nothing has changed since the beginning. Nothing has changed since the foundation. You could interchangeably use that word. The beginning, foundation. From the foundation of the world, what the lamb was slain. Right? Amen. So let's 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 look at this. Do my best. Stay on top of it. But the reason why I said uh 1 Corinthians 4, 16 and 4. Alright? God's gonna give you revelation, he's gonna give you knowledge, he's gonna give you doctrine. Amen. So let's uh Amen. Things that stir me up. So, you as a man of God, 
You are the door. 1 John 4, 17 says that Jesus is, so are we in this world. Jesus says, right, let's go to yeah, John chapter 10, verse 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door, enter the sheepfold, but climb up some other way, the same as a thief and a rock. Amen? But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Jesus is talking about himself here. Amen? Yes, yes, uh, to, to him, the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name. This is what God said to me this morning. He says, I, he said, God, God said, I don't, I haven't called you by your sin nature. I'll call you by my divine nature. He's going he knows you by name before the foundation of the world. So when people are coming to church, they how are they discerning you? How are they discerning the body of Christ? If they're not if they if they're using the, the sin nature on the out, the out appearance, the outward man, guess what? They're deceived. They're gonna they're gonna go, uh, look at you in, in fear, not understanding, and just properly discern what the Lord has said. Everybody understand what I'm saying? Amen. <coughs> go ahead. I was telling we said to him the porter opened it with the porters. Amen. Amen. And the, how, why, the reason why I say that because the door opens by us preaching the gospel. Yes. Yes. And that's what opened the door. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. He's the door. He's the door. And he said, so you, you again, you are the house. You are the man of the house. You are the head of the household. And this is what the Spirit of the Lord gave me. You know, I wasn't here for um, the uh, anniversary. But he said, you know, a leader can't take you where he hasn't been. He said, wherever the head goes, the body follows. Who is the head of the church? Jesus. Jesus. Where is he seated, seated at right now? Right hand of the Father. Right hand of the Father. Right? Yes. So if you're in the body, you're going to what? Follow him. Amen. He's a leader. You're going to follow him. How? By the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has to give you the enablement to do it. Which is... <laughs> To follow means to what? To deny yourself and to die, your, die, die to yourself. What did Jesus do? He died to himself and denied himself where? In the wilderness. I know I'm, I'm please just stay with me, stay with me. He denied himself and, and, and died to himself in the wilderness. This is what he said to me one Sunday after I believe Bishop preached. Uh, he said, he said, this clear today, it's simple, because the gospel is simple, right? He said, I divested myself to invest myself in you. That, that's what he said. So, there's a whole lot going on with that. Rob Blood really should pop it up, because what did, he, we, what did he teach about? Investing, right? Versus spending. Mm -hmm. There's an investment going on. You, this is a, the law, this is a spiritual law, this I'll bring it in heaven right now. It's in the earth. Uh, whatever you sow, you shall reap. Amen? So if you, which, what does the scripture say? If you reap spiritually, you should reap what? Uh, 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 reap life eternal. So spiritually, reap life eternal. Right? Amen. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really trying to just move on fast. I know folks got to leave, but um, if you, yeah, you reap spiritually. So if you, uh, I lost my train of thought. Praise God. <laughs> What, what the Lord told me about investing right now, about redeeming the time, is to make the most of your opportunity here. Yes. <coughs> yes. Amen. The men, we need to make the most of our opportunity here for however long uh, you, you are here for here at CHF. Because there's something awesome going on, there's something mighty going on, the, the Holy Spirit is doing something in special in this congregation, in this assembly, that is, I don't, I haven't seen or heard around the nation. And I've been in church all my life. People don't understand what happened to him or what they seen or heard with, with him, but they literally seen. I came at the tail end of his transition to where he is right now. I mean, I, I took that ride. I'm, I'm, Stay with me. I took that ride with him, 
And the Holy Spirit was indoctrinating me into the body, into the, the ability to hear what the Lord was saying to me and changing my destiny when I was riding with him. Amen. I mean, I marveled. God said, Jesus said, I want you to marvel what the Father's doing. Mm -hmm. I marveled at what God had done to him. So long story short, they literally watched the old Tim Jones transition to the new Jim, Tim Jones in Christ. Amen. That's, what they, that's what they saw. Then. But see, if you're not properly discerning the Lord's body, if you're look, judging by the outward man, your, or the sin nature, you, you, you're going to be walking like the blind leading the blind like the Pharisees were doing. Right? Amen. We talk about the insight. The, ins, the insight on, on Wednesday, the wisdom of God is in, wisdom that comes from the inside, which God speaks. Amen? Amen. So, this is a man that followed God. Jesus followed his father. But he do. He died to himself. He denied himself. Right? And what moved me, again, is a message that uh, he, he, he taught on about the war within. How, how many remember that? What? The war within. I don't know if everybody listens to YouTube. <laughs> um, but, in, but in that message, he says, the Holy Spirit is looking for a fight, for one. He's here to help you defeat your enemy. Who's the enemy? You. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm my own. Worst I'm enemy. worst enemy. I'm the biggest Amen. enemy. Yep. About the whole time, the fight has already been won. The enemy's been defeated. One of one of the definitions for a captive, he left captivity captive. One of the best definitions for captive is prisoner of war. The enemy's a prisoner of war. <laughs> so. The, the battle is you. It's, it's the lust fight against the spirit, the spirit against the flesh, the whole time, the whole time. So, what I'm, what I'm saying here, don't make redeem the time. Yes, God is calling us to humble ourselves, to die to self, and deny self. So, Jesus died, you know, he dies to himself, he, gets, he strips himself of all that he was in order that he could see us eye to eye as a man to man. So there ain't nothing that you have been through, seen, that discarred you, that's wounded you. What God is doing is, he said, he, I commanded the light to shine in those dark places, those dark times in your life. Amen? Amen. So, but the entrance, the song says, the entrance of thy word giveth light. Right? Amen. The entrance through the doorway giveth light. So you need power. You need power. In order yes. to die, yes. you need power in order to deny. To, to as many as received him, to them gave he what? Power. 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 Who's that power? Jesus. 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 And the Holy Spirit is at work in us right now. So from the first day I got here, man, that first message he preached. What, what is God saying? I'm not looking at your sin nature, looking at my divine nature, which is Christ who died while you were yet a sinner, and I covered you. I planted my incorruptible seed in you, which can never die, and I've been watering it. Every time you come in here, it's been watered. Amen. Every, every day. The, the blessing is overriding the curse every time you come in here. Amen. 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 Everybody follow me. Amen. All right, hope I'm, I'm tracking. So we've been called here, redeem the time by following him, by denying yourself. He told me to get a, the cross that's down there. Because it's day one, man. You got to get that cross on your back. He said, you got to carry your burden, right? Yes. Amen. There's some things in life, man, that I don't like right now. Yeah. He, he said, you, you going to do things or you going to, he wants you to do things that you don't want to do. Amen. You got to do things that you don't like. But it on that cross, man. Let, let's go there. Let me show you. Let me tell you what happened. The Holy Spirit is doing. Let's go to Galatians. No, Colossians. Colossians. Do Colossians chapter two. Okay, I 
kind of mentioned this a little bit here. Go to verse. Go to let's start at nine. Tell you what, let, let's let, let's look at four real quick. Let's look at four real quick. In this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. What enticing words do? Seduce. They seduce. All right, let's go on down to, okay, let, I'm going to keep on reading. For though I be absent in the flesh, yet am I with you in the spirit, joy in beholding your order, and the steadfastness, steadfastness, steadfastness of your faith in Christ. Correct me if I'm wrong, Paul wrote a lot of letters from prison. <laughs> Believe he was in prison, writing this. Amen. And he says, I'm with you in the spirit. And I'm joying beholding your order. He witnessed the order that God has set them in by receiving the gospel. Amen. Amen. Uh, as ye have therefore received, verse 6, Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him. A key thing there. Uh, you receive who? Christ. What do, have we learned that Christ means? Sanctifier, developer, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. He's the one that's going to help you to die. He's the one that's going to help you to become like him. Amen? Yep. So walk ye in him. Number seven, uh, verse 7, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Verse 8, beware lest any, any, any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. This is what's going on right now. Amen? Amen. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. There are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. I wish I had time to show you where a lot of times Jesus is talking, is teaching, and he's talking about the, the Father. He's talking about the Godhead. He's talking about what the Father said, what I said, and he's talking about you know, the Godhead itself. But I'll, I'll, we'll get to that one, you know, next time. Amen? Amen? And you are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power, in whom also you are circumcised with circumcision made without hands, and putting off of the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. Y'all see that? Yeah. This, this is this is not in the sweet by and by when the Holy Spirit, the power is working on you, it's, it happens right now. He's seen this already complete. It's grace that's getting us through each day, through each trial, through each tribulation. Amen? It's grace that helps us to look like this, to, to deny ourselves to, and to die to flesh. Amen? Amen. It's, it's that operation. So, let me, uh, let me go down. I saw something. I think I'm done there. I think I'm done there. But understand, this is what happened on the cross. When he died, he put an end to all sin. He, he killed the sin nature. He destroyed it. Amen? Amen. 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 All right. So, carrying your cross. Here at CHF, you're going to go through transition. This is transition center. I see people come in, come and go military. But at the same time, this is a training center, amen? Um, let me show you, again, another uh, witness to how you're supposed to discern the Lord, the Lord's body, the entrance or the, the, the door, the Christ himself, amen? Let's go to, uh, let's, let me go back to, let's go to Luke. Let's 
start at um, verse 62. In Luke chapter 1, verse 62. So here, uh, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, is came to Zechariah to prophesy to him about John, his son. Amen. Who is John? He's the, the head. I'm sorry, Zechariah is the head of the household. He's coming to the man, the door. Amen. Verse 62, and they made signs to his father how he would have him called. And they made signs to his, to his father. What do we got here? The father's nature. He's calling him. Jesus said, I came in my father's name. Amen. Amen. And he asked for a writing table and wrote saying, his name is John. And they, they marveled all. Verse 64, sorry. And his mouth was open immediately. You know? Sometimes, a lot of times, it's so important that we control what we say, amen? <laughs> and again, again, what we say, what we declare, it's important that we say the right thing. We gotta say what God says, amen? amen. So as a father, as a, as, a, as, a, as a man of God, you it's important that you say what the Lord says so you can get to where the God wants you to get to. And it, so that the verse 64 again, and his tongue loosed, and he spake and praised God. The very next thing that comes out of his mouth is praise. <clears throat> Amen? Amen. Verse 65, and fear came on all that dwelt round about them, and all these things were noise abroad throughout all the hill country of Judea. Let me go on down to, get to, so verse 68, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel who hath visited and redeemed his people. He began to say what God had on his mind. Mm. He began to speak what the Spirit said, but wanted him to speak from the, from the jump. He, he, <laughs> he, he, he became dumb because he was about to speak yes. something contrary right. to what God wanted to do, what, what was happening. He, sh he should have said it the first time. He should have said it yeah. the first time. He should have said it the first time. Yeah, right. Amen. Yeah. And look. Yeah. God said, be quiet and think. Be quiet and think. Because you're yeah. about to say the wrong thing. Yep. And then you said some power. Mm -hmm. He's the door. Right. So God had to shut him up. Yep. Because you ain't going to delay what's, what I'm doing. Amen. You ain't going to interfere with my plan. Yep. But yeah. you have authority. So I got to stop you from talking yep. until you get your mind right. Then right. the right thing come out to me. Thank mind. you. <laughs> right thinking do the right yeah. speaking. Amen. God, you're right. Right thinking, right speaking. Because God is looking at the heart, out of the bones of the heart, the what? The mouth speaking. That's why a lot of times, man, you can tell what people, what they, what they minded, what they had it. Easily. That's what they do is open their mouth. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I've been in Army 23 years doing intelligence, man. Trust me, I, I hear. I, I, I see, not listen. Yes. I know a lot more than what you think I know, yes. both spiritually and naturally. Yes. But God wants to use me spiritually more now than yes. what I did with the Army, amen? Yes. Transitioning over to a soldier for him. Yes. Amen. So my thoughts are getting back on you know transitioning, training center. Everybody went through basic training, a lot of people here in the army. And the whole concept with basic training is what? To break down the old you to bring up the new you. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. That's what this place is here for. I'm gonna help you uh, just what the Holy Spirit said. Me personally, when I'm preparing to you, because we have so many problems that are happening in the world today that can be stopped if we just die to ourselves and deny ourselves. This yield to the Holy Spirit's Amen. movement to, to, cru to cru crucify ourselves. Again, Jesus said 15, John 15, you can read it. Yes. Without me, you can do nothing. You can't make a step. You can't have faith towards God, repentance from dead works. Now I'm going to, to the foundation of the house. Laying of hands, Eternal judgment, huh? Hebrews 6 and 1. You, you, you can't get there. And I'm going to tell you what, how the Lord Holy Spirit blew my mind because John, John the, uh, the apostle, man, that too. I love how he opened up and, and introduced, uh, I love how he introduced Jesus, John 1 and 1, to blow it out the water. Amen. So let's go back to, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go right there, stay, I'm going to stay there. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. But he had visited and redeemed his people. He said, 
there's a visitation and there's a demonstration. Redemption right there. Visitation, demonstration, and a manifestation of God coming to answer all their problems, to wipe out all their enemies. If y'all want to follow me, I'm going to go to the next one. Verse 69. And hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. David means beloved, but Jesus was his well-beloved. Amen? Um, verse 70. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. When we talk about beginning, we talk about foundation, beginning. Amen? That we should be saved from our enemies. And from the hand of all that hate us. They hated us before, at the beginning, when the world began. Amen? That we should be saved from our enemies. Or, sorry, verse 72. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers. And to remember his holy covenant. And he's about to talk about the, what a, what a, the, the father of faith in the next verse. Verse 73. The oath which he swore to our father Abraham. Right? Which is to what? To, I'm going to bless you to bless the world. To bless, and in this shall all families of the world, world be blessed, right? Is, is that what he said? And then multiplying, I will multiply thee, and in blessing, I will bless thee, right? The whole time, <laughs> I'll tell you the whole, the whole story with Abraham is, is a beautiful story. God literally, divinely, painted the picture of Christ on his heart the whole time from the time he left got called out of uh, what's the name Canaan right Ur the Chaldees from the time he got called it's a picture of us the New Testament Christian we're called out ones amen saints yeah. consecrated ones yeah. called out from over there to over here in the promised land Right? Yes. He but he God gave him everything. That man was rich. He had trained servants, right? Yeah. He was balling. And this is after he lied. Right? In Egypt. Yeah. But Ahimelech, Abimelech, I think that's what his name, the king. Yeah. That man had a dream, God sent him a dream, said, Man, get out of my house. <laughs> that that's your sister, that's your wife. So God revealed, man, look, God was all over this thing. But God was looking for something. God was after something. He's after something in you. He made, he's looking to make sacrifices. I love what Bishop said that. You said your body's a living sacrifice, holy set unto God, which is your reasonable. God is looking to make a sacrifice. He made a sacrifice in Abraham. Where? On Mount Moriah. I want you to give me your son. I want you to kill your son. I want you to sacrifice your son. If you can't see that, man. Revelation all through that thing. But look what he said. A horn of salvation in verse 69. The horn of salvation is, is the one is worship. What did Abraham see as he went to obey God? He called Abraham, Abraham. Abraham, Abraham. Twice means covenant. Heard in the heavens, heard in the earth. It's agreement. Right? He stops him. He says, look behind you. There was a, what was behind him? A ram. A ram, right? He took the ram, he sacrificed him, right? Yes. In the Hebrew culture, on the Hebrew nation, there's a horn called the shofar, yes. right? Abraham, that was an instrument inside him. God blew a wind through Abraham, and what resulted in to us in the natural was this horn called the shofar, and he blew it. When people, they, they still blow it down. Yes. And when they blow it, in the heavenlies, that, that's the sound of salvation. That's Jesus prophesying Jesus is coming to save his people through sacrifice. Go, go home and look it up. <laughs> go home and look it up. It's a trumpet. It's a trumpet sound. Every time God gets ready to move, they, they announce his coming. It's, 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 it's a trumpet. Before he enters, it's his word. It's his light. Man, when God said, let there be light, it was a sound of war. It was a sound of war against your enemies. It was a, war, a sound of war against his enemies. And so today, man, all I'm saying, and we're going to get out of here, is 
You have been equipped with the whole arm of God. You have been equipped or, and you have been built to last on a foundation that standeth sure. The Lord knoweth those that are his. Because what? They have departed from iniquity, right? They have departed from wrongdoing. Amen? This seal, I'm telling you, I was reading, I'll share with you real quick, that the, the, the children of Israel, Moses commanded them to eat unleavened bread, which is the type of Christ, the bread of life. That was a bitter bread. On that Mount Moriah, where Abraham was sacrificed his son, uh, that, that mountain means uh, bitterness. That mountain means bitterness. It crushed Abraham's heart to have to deny, to, to kill his own son. It was a picture of God's heart on the earth. It was a direct reflection of God's heart on the earth. It was, the, 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 even the tabernacle, it's all the way through the Old Testament. The, uh, the tabernacle itself was a picture of God's heart on the earth. It was all Christ. And I, I wrote some notes here, you know, a few years ago when I first got here. And folks, just, I showed the video and I wrote it down, went back through the people just looking. But what am I saying? People need to come to church to look for Jesus. Yes. Yeah, that, this, this place, what we got going here is special, man. Yeah. Because we got a, a pastor, a bishop who's going that route, who's done something amazing. There are people, man, there are people in church that ain't done. They're, 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 they're the goats. They're the carnal-minded folks that are like the Sadducees, the Pharisees, and being legal, legalistic. But here we are surrendered hearts with the power of the Holy Ghost on us to transform us. Yes. Now, if y'all, his wife was talking about last Sunday, so I'm going to speak the same thing. <laughs> We're on the same judgment, right? Perfectly joined together in the women's fellowship. Yeah. Salvation, she said, salvation is uh, a choice, but transformation. Is a must. Man, don't waste your time. Don't waste your time here. Get, get in this word. Go from front to back. I'm telling you real quick. The bishop, he challenged me. He challenged Elder Paul, uh, uh, Charles back there. The read from front to back. And he showed me Ecclesiastes 12 12. He says, Much study is weariness to the flesh. You got, you got two people out there, ministers to seminary, going in and out. Thinking they doing something. But man, you got folks in here whom Jesus changed their lives. The woman who committed adultery, the moment he met at the well, they didn't go to seminary. Not at all. They didn't go to school, they didn't go to college. Mm -hmm. They ran and got the, they got the gospel, received a message that changed their life, changed their heart, and they ran about telling the whole the whole world. Amen. <laughs> yes. All because of one man's obedience. Right? Man, I, that message did something to me too. Uh, what, what Bishop uh, he taught on uh, Eve, man, the whole new revelation. She received the message. The message was conceived in our heart, man, mm -hmm. and gave her the appetite that messed all of us up. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah perverted, man. We, all we wanted to do was run on our wives and jump in the bed and go drink and shoot the arms of that before we came to Christ, right? Yeah. That's all we wanted to do. Stuff that was forbidden, we wanted to get, get with it, feel good about it. But <clears throat> it's funny how it was painful doing bad, but it's also painful walking by faith. Amen. The pain that he went through, the Holy Spirit got to reveal it to you so you can have an affection towards and then so you appreciate what's going on here and what he's doing in your life personally. I know, I mean, I know he's working. <laughs> and I praise God that he's working in you, in you guys' uh, hearts, man. So, man, let, let's, let's change our confession. Let's, let's continue to pray and talk to the person of our confession, Jesus Christ. Uh, brothers, just, just be encouraged. But all I'm trying to say is uh, what the world sees is, is almost an indictment. There's only one true church. That's why I appreciate what Bishop is, is, is teaching here, the Holy Spirit is giving him to teach, is that we are a theocratic church. One, one God, one God, God's way, God's rules, God's will. 
in the church. I can't, I can't be here, hey man, let's do it this way. Hey man, let's do it that way. Uh-uh. It's under his authority. And he, and Bishop is submitted to his authority. The elders are submitted to his authority. And that authority comes on down and says, you better get on down. And keep with the program and humble yourself. Fathers, men, because at the moment, man, you, you try to lift your head up and go, go the other way, yeah. and the enemy waiting. Yeah. And that's one of the main reasons why, or <laughs> thoughts that come to me, man, if I to even do this, all where God has brought me from, the change that's happened in my life, yeah. the transformation, you, you need the right doctrine, the doctrine of Christ to, to really grow. Okay, from no message there. You need you need the doctrine, you need the right foundation because everything else is sick and sand. I mean Jesus said it. You build your life on my word, it's like a man that built his house upon a rock. Anything else outside of that is sand. That's why that man was full. The man the man with a legion of devils was uh, of in the gatherings was filled with so many devils. The revelation behind that is that he was filled with the doctrine of devils. He said that, that, that Jesus, my, the Holy Spirit said the doctrine of devils, the devils that were in him were doctrines that are around the world, in every country, in every culture. Mm. I got notes here, man, that uh, there was no sense of culture in the tabernacle at all. God wasn't for one group or another. It was all about Jesus. It was all about heaven. He was here to fix a problem. And ain't no one person besides Jesus got the answer. So, uh, hopefully, <laughs> perfectly y'all got something, man. Yeah. I know I'm all, all over the place, but again, yeah. like I said, uh, y'all look at 2 Corinthians 16, 14, 6. Revelation, the word of God comes by revelation, knowledge, and doctrine. Amen? Amen. So, uh, and I, I could be up here all day, but I know, again, people got the places to go, things to do, but I pray uh, that you all receive something uh, from the Lord. Amen? Amen. I'm going to go ahead and get out your way. Anybody got any prayer requests or anything that we need to, we need to come together in agreement on today? Anything the Holy Spirit laid on your heart? We as a men's ministry are here to help you and keep you, like Bishop said, rolling. And I, trust me, I, I, I know all of us struggle day in, day out. Oh, but you got, you got to keep growing. You got to keep praying. Yeah. Yeah, you, 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 can't, you got to be constantly renewed in the spirit of your mind. Amen. amen. That's what the scriptures say, amen. 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 Constantly. Yeah. Every day I, I, I get up. And uh, I, I just, it's a, it's a thing now where, God, what, what do you want me to do for you? And she already did enough for me. Amen. <laughs> I mean, every day, to, to where I'm at, I, you know, bishop say, hey, I just need you to pour into the men. And I believe that's what God wants me to do. But at the same time, when he said that, uh, the Holy Spirit said, I've opened the doorway for you to develop and mature more. It, it, was, it was a clear, clear opening for me to go and continue to develop. Because uh, it wasn't about going behind here, hitting the sound, or the people know it. That's where I started at. What about cleaning the church? What about uh, any other thing running around here helping saints out, man? It's about what are you hearing from God? What are you? How, how much are you obeying God? How much are you hearing God, obeying Him? And because that's the only thing that really gonna cause the fruit to make you fruitful. Amen. So tra transition, man, from. Uh, I love what Bishop said. He said from, he said Moses was direction. John the Baptist was transition. Jesus was what, confirmation. And the Holy Spirit is affirming what Jesus is doing. When the, 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 uh, the rock is Peter confessing that Jesus is the Christ. He says, upon this rock, that revelation of Jesus Christ in you, I'm going to build my church. 
on top of that, you have the doctrine, the principles. You put six and one. That foundation, that, that's it. So understand, look at that, and look at Jesus walking through that great tempestuous wind as his disciples were in the boat. Watch him. All those doctrines. The winds of doctrine, right? That's the revelation. The winds of doctrine coming at the doctrine that you're supposed to be standing on as a Christian. Can't, couldn't move Let's go to the other side. You, oh, you just got saved? Come on, let's go to the other side. Keep walking with him? What you doing? Man, okay, I cross, growing. Right? Children of Israel left Egypt, left bondage, left sin. This is you, the Christian. You got small faith now, but you're, you're walking. And you're growing. And you're mature. You get to a point where you say, yeah, Lord, I'll give you all. What, take, take it all from me. Whatever's hindering me from really growing, here's a cross. You stop carrying your cross. You get strength to carry your cross. Amen. Stop Amen. arguing, biting, and, and, and complaining with yourself, with, with, with your wife, with your folks at work. And you carry your cross and bring it to him and keep on going into maturity. Amen? Amen. 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 Praise God. Let's give God some praise.